What's up, family? It's your girl, The Fly Empress, and I'm back to give you guys another Zodiac reading for the month of May. Let's see what Zodiac is going to be coming up next. Divine Holy Spirit, show me truth and clarity. What Zodiac need a reading at this time, Divine Holy Spirit? Show me what I need to see. Okay, we got Pisces. Okay, and we got North Node. Pisces, you could be in your North Node at this time. Yeah, I haven't did a reading for Pisces yet. Okay. Let's see. Hold on now, Pisces. Okay, this could be affecting your sixth house. <clears throat> Let's see. It says the North Node in the sixth house represent a life path focused on continuous improvement in various life areas from personal development to work and health. Um, it also says North Node in the sixth house brings the conflict between rational and irrational, between dream and reality between self-adjustment and self-sacrifice. I'm hearing something about a balance here. Okay. There could be some type of balance that's going to be taking place in your life, but I feel like it's in different areas here. Or you're looking at how you could bring balance into different areas of your life. And it's like you're trying to be rational about certain things or some of you guys, you're not wanting to jump into something or be very impulsive about something, especially when it comes to taking action. I feel like something about you. Um, I'm hearing going through life with a fine comb. Okay. Or this is like you weighing the pros and the cons before you take action. Okay, but it's like you're trying to figure out what's the next step. For some of you guys, there's a phase that has ended and you have walked into a new phase or a new era in your life. I'm hearing uncharted territory. Something about you done change. Okay, it's like you could feel this change. It's like you're not the same person or you don't have the same wants or you know, certain things that you could have wanted to acquire in your life. It's like, you don't want that anymore. It's like, I'm hearing it's done shifted. Okay. Something about your taste in life done shifted. Okay. You could have had a whole set of dreams that you wanted to fulfill or you wanted to do, but now it's like you're focusing on something else or you're wanting to do something else. But I feel like this is part of your path, okay? Something is definitely, whatever you're going through right now, I feel like it's a part of your path. Let's see. Some of you guys, you might not like having to like, um, it's like you, you don't like to end chapters, okay? But when the opportunity knocks at your door, and if it's a better opportunity, I feel like you're going to take it. I'm hearing adaptability. Some of you guys are going to have to adapt to some type of change this month. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm. Pisces, mm, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with y'all. Yeah, the world. Look at this. Okay, some cycle has definitely ended. There is some type of completion that's not taking place. And I feel like you're manifesting something new. You got all the tools that you need in order to do this. Some of you guys, you're tapping into your creative self. But I'm also getting like a fact. I keep hearing a phase um, that has ended. This is giving me like transitioning from a teenager to an adult or being a single adult into a relationship or 
um, starting a family. It's giving me that type of transition here. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Pisces. What do they need to know for the month of May? Show me what I need to see for the Pisces for the month of May. Truth and clarity. There could be some people that's leaving or is going off to college. Or for some of you guys, you're going to be having an empty nest. Or like you are transitioning from one career to a new career. Okay. Um, let's see. We got the Five of Cups. I don't know why I'm here and leaving it behind. There's something you're leaving behind. Some of you guys, you, you don't went through a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. You done suffered a lot of losses. Some of you guys, you could have even have, you could have even lost certain people that you really cared about. But I'm hearing it's over now. It's a gospel song. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. You don't went through some type of storm. Some of you guys, this could have been a karmic storm. You could be going through this this month. But I, I do feel like there's healing that's coming. Okay. There's healing that's about to come into your life. Or like I said, there's something here that you're having to leave behind. And maybe you don't want to leave it behind. But it's like you can't take it with you. Okay. In this new phase. Or this new stage, this new chapter. Some of you guys, this could be about a Scorpio. We got the Page of Cups. So this is giving me new, okay? Some of you guys, this is regarding a child. But I feel like there's something new that you're going to be emotionally invested in. Or um, this could be an idea. This could be something new that you want to create or build. I'm also hearing like um, intuition. Something about you guys' intuition being really strong this month. Are you tapping back into your childlike self? For some of you guys, you feel like you had to grow up too fast or like life gave you an unfair hand or something. But it's like God is giving you a clean slate. Yeah, we got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. For some of you guys, I do feel like this is regarding your emotions here. Your emotions could be very heavy, but I feel like um, this is the closing of a chapter. Or like I said, this is something you're having to leave behind. And there's a new beginning that's coming in for you. And it's like you're needing to make plans or you're needing to figure out how you want to walk this new journey. But whatever you're going toward, I feel like it's going to lead you to the emperor <clears throat> or something about you taking charge or you being in a leadership position. Some of you guys, this could be about a father. You could have lost a father. Okay. But I feel like um, this is a person that's still with you in the spirits. Or something about the God, something about God having your back, or God is supporting you right now, because I'm also hearing Heavenly Father, Spirit. Show me what what's going on. Somebody could be worried about a child. We got the King of Cups, a lot of water. Damn, Pisces. I know you're a water sign, baby, but this is a lot of damn water. Okay, it's a lot of water. 
Um, for some of you guys, you've been having to put on a hard exterior because you have suffered a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt. And I feel like you try not to wear your heart on your sleeve in fear of like people breaking your heart or causing you. Um, this is giving me like you trusting people and people causing you pain or something. For some of you guys, you don't know how a situation is going to play out. But I feel like it's it's going to be okay. This could be regarding a relationship here. Maybe somebody hurted you in the past, but this person could be wanting to come back in and reconcile with you. Or they want to ensure, they want to assure you that they're not going to leave your side or they're going to support you. I'm hearing support. You have support. Or you have somebody who loves you. Somebody loves you, baby. I'm hearing that. Some of you guys could be dealing with um, a Cancer, another Pisces, or a Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles. So this is coming up regarding your conflict here. Some of you guys, you could be worried about money or your finances at this time. You could be having to help a lot of people or but some of you guys, you're wanting to do something new. Okay, but it's like you don't know where to start or It's like you don't, for some of you guys, it's like you're tired of like doing something day in and day out. You feel like it's not getting you nowhere or it's not giving you what you need financially. You could feel like um, you're not sure if somebody is committed to you as well. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is kind of giving me like a commitment. Like just say, for instance, for some of you guys, you could work long distance or somebody could be at a distance from you that you love. You might feel like this person got wandering eyes or this is somebody who is not faithful or they not going to be true to you. Or this is somebody who's not committed to you. But I feel like this person is or this person want to be. I'm hearing some of you guys have trust issues that spirit is wanting for you to address this month. Okay. Spirit, what's going on with the Pisces? Okay, we got the Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like for some of you guys, you it's like you're not really for sure where this path is going to lead you. All you know that it don't feel right or, you know, it, it's kind of giving me the energy of like, I've been having this with me forever and now I got to leave it behind. You know, it's like you don't know how something is going to turn out. Something got you in your head or worried. I'm here and be careful about jumping to conclusions about certain things here. Or maybe somebody is jumping to conclusions about you, child. I don't know. But somebody feel like, you know, um, maybe you, you're going to a new level. You're going to leave them behind or like... You fear somebody else moving to a new level and leaving you behind. Yeah. At the bottom of the day, we got the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're about to put a lot of energy into yourself or into working on something. This could be something new. 
this could be something you've never done before. For some of you guys, you could be having to learn certain things or you could be creating something that you got to get more knowledge on. But I feel like this is going to benefit you or it's going to bring in a new stream of income. I feel like this is a part of your soul path, your soul purpose. You could be feeling the call to do something with your gifts or to take your pain and turn it into power. Okay. I'm hearing capitalize off of your pain. Some of you guys, that's what you're going to be doing here. It's what I'm seeing. And that's pretty much what the North Node is about. Learning from what you had to overcome in your South Node. And um, capitalizing off of it. Healing or showing other people how to heal. Or creating something that brings in happiness or joy. Okay, something about transmuting negative energy as well. You could be working on doing this this month. Some of you guys could love the color black. You could live by water or you could live outside of the city. We got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Libra and Gemini energy, Virgo. Spirit, show me what I need to see here. What's going on with my Pisces? Because I'm so, so confused. <laughs> Some of you guys, you could have relocated with your children or something. Spirit, show me what I need to see. But I'm here in a new beginning. Yeah. Yeah, you're really needing to focus on like saving your money right now. You could be spending a lot of money. And I feel like you're needing to be on a budget or like you're needing to learn how to save or put money back. Um, Some of you guys, you could be emotional shoppers. Okay. Or for some of you guys, I'm hearing like, you try to show people how much you love them through how much money you spend on them. Something like that. But there's a need right now to focus on healing your money or your finances or to pay some debts. Spirit. Now we got the three of swords here. I'm hearing hurting financially. Some of you guys are hurting financially. You could be looking at this. Um, I'm hearing putting, you're needing to put money back, okay? Like where you can't see it or you don't keep it on you. Some of you guys are needing to get a safe, okay? And like what, if you got extra money left over out of your check or figure out like how much you gonna keep in your pocket, how much you gonna pay on your bills, and how much you're going to put back in your savings account or something, you're needing to put it back, okay? There's some type of healing that's needing to take place with your finances. Spirit. Some of you guys feel like you're not going to have enough for something. This could be to start a business. Okay, we got the lovers. There could be somebody who's needing your help at this time. This could be a Gemini. I feel like a lot of people could need your help right now. And it's like right now you're trying to heal yourself or you're trying to get stable or you're trying to get on your own two feet. You're trying to... Um, fix your own life i feel like a lot of people are needing you or you it's like you're trying to help everybody else but right now you need to focus on helping yourself i'm also seeing like there's healing here that is needing to take place or you know there's certain areas in your life you're needing to heal 
Okay, this could be childhood wounding. Or there, there could have been something you went through or you faced when you was a child. Okay, that you still need to heal from. Because I'm also hearing bottled up ang anger or <sighs> something here is bottled up. Or maybe this is something you went through in your self node and you have learned. Okay, you don't learn some type of lesson here. That's, um, that's why I feel like you're moving to a new chapter. Something here you was going through that you was refusing to heal from or you wasn't healing. Um, I feel like you're aware of this or you're aware of what this is. Some of you guys, you realize that, you know, you spend too much or, you know, there was some type of trauma that took place that you was holding on to. It's like you see everything that you need to do. And I feel like you're focusing on doing this or you don't learn some type of lesson here. I'm also hearing help. Some of you guys, you got help on the way or somebody is coming into your life to help you or this person could already be in your life. We got the magician, heavy Gemini energy. We got Gemini here twice in Virgo. We got Scorpio energy. Spirit. Yeah. There could be some type of conflict regarding uh, money or work or your finances at this time. Okay. But I feel like this is going to heal too. You're needing to give something time or you're needing to be patient. Some of you guys, you could be needing to buy something very important. This could be a, a car or like maybe your car broke down you need to get a new car or you know you need a new phone your phone could be cracked or something like that or this is dealing with appliances okay but there's some type of conflict going on with money right now but you're needing to be patient about this um i feel like somebody is helping you or something here could end up going in your favor because I'm hearing he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. Ace of Cups. Okay, there is a wish fulfillment that's going to come in towards you. Whatever this is that's got you in your head or you feel like it's holding you back or, you know, you feel like something is not going to go in your favor, there's healing that's going to come in for you. All right, the world. Yeah. You're, you're going to receive something and you're going to be victorious in this. This is something you've been waiting for for a very long time. Yeah, I'm hearing it's something that you needed, though. Spirit, why is the Nine of Swords here in the reverse? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You're having to be patient at this time. That's what I'm hearing. Um, this can have you all in your heads or, you know, it can have you a little bit angry because you feel like this should have been that came in or, you know, it's like you're trying to something you're needing or wanting right now that's going to help you on this next level or this next journey um, into your North Node. But it's like right now, maybe you don't got it or you don't got the resources, but I'm seeing it. It's going to come in. Okay. It's like you've been waiting forever, okay? But it's going to happen. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Okay, we got the King of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be able to take action or you're going to be able to move around or do what you need to do. But I'm hearing like taking care of business, okay? Whatever this blessing is that's going to come in to you, you're going to be able to take care of business or get what you need to get done or have what you need to get something done or something. It's going to come in as a shock, okay, with the seven of cups. I'm seeing like you guys picking something out. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a house, an apartment, a car, um, this could be a location. Some of you guys, 
I don't know what the hell this is, but I'm seeing like you being able to go pick something out. Or you can start making plans, something like that. Spirit. We got the hermit here. This is no longer waiting on something. It's going to come on in. Or there could be a Virgo that's could, that could end up assisting you. We got Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm here and no longer waiting. You're not going to have to wait for too much longer. Okay. God is in your favor or God is going to help you. Or some of you guys this is regarding work. Okay. Or some type of institution. Yeah. Yeah, something is going to end. Something is going to bring in a lot of balance. And whatever this is that's coming in to you, it's going to come in swiftly. Or like there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to be able to get accomplished is what I'm hearing. We got two eights here. I'm hearing good luck. Or luck is on your side. Or you, you got blessings that's going to be coming in regarding money and work. Or your creativity or something like that. Okay. Let's see. Let me use these cards. My Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see. Some of you guys, you feel like something is not going to happen. Okay. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. You feel like something is not going to happen for you, but you got abundance that's going to come in here. And I'm telling you, it's going to bring in a lot of balance in your life. Some of you guys could be seeing 1111. Okay. But I'm hearing your angels are here to assist you or they're here to help you. This is also kind of giving me the magician energy. Okay. You're needing to stay in your magician energy at this time. I'm hearing as above, so below. Like, if you believe it, it's going to come in. But I feel like it's going to come in whether you believe it or not. But it's something about your faith helping it to come in faster. Spirit, show me what I need to see for my Pisces for the month of May. Yeah, something here was causing problems or it was a challenge. Okay. And I feel like, family, you was running out of patience or you are being patient at this time. Because, like like I said, like if you got a job and you ain't got a car, your car done broke down, you're like, oh, my God, how am I going to get to work? How, how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to do that? How am I going to go to the store? You know, and it's like you be stressing out about this, but you do got people that can help you or people can take you where you need to go. But at the same time, it's like I can't wait till I have my own. Like I can't keep doing this. I'm tired. Um, there's a need for you to have patience at this time because there is happiness that's going to come towards you or there's help on the way. Show me what I need to see for the Pisces. Okay. Spirit is wanting for you to really focus on your self-esteem this month. Okay. You need to know that you have something or something is in the bag. You need to focus on, um, I'm hearing you need to know who the, who the hell you is. Okay, some of you guys, it's like you don't really know who you are, or like there's certain things you're still confused about. But I'm hearing you got the power, okay, to bring in or make changes in your life. You're very powerful, is what I'm hearing here. Something about your solar plexus. Some of you guys could be feeling a little bit drained, tired, exhausted. Uh, defeated, overwhelmed, overworked. Um, there could be a need for you to raise your vibration this month. I'm hearing laugh a bit, dance, sing, um, be goofy, be silly. Something about when you change your vibration, something is going to come faster. Change. Look at that. Yeah. Whatever this is you wanting, it's going to end up coming in a lot faster than you think. Spirit. Okay, we got health. Some of you guys are needing to detox or um, you're needing to focus on your health or you, you're needing to fast for some of you. 
I'm hearing 11 and 6. Like, don't eat nothing before 11 and don't eat nothing after 6. But you're needing to drink a lot of water. Some of you guys are needing to go on a high-protein, low-carb diet. Okay, or you're definitely needing to get some rest. Some of you guys are not getting any rest. Some of you guys, you feel like you're going through a situation by yourself or you feel left out, okay? But this card is in reverse. Spirit is saying you're not left out here. You can feel like something is unfair or unbalanced as well. Or there's somebody here that's not telling the truth. And I feel like it's causing adversity in your life or it's holding back some type of blessing for some of you guys. Okay. But I feel like there's going to be a judgment call. You're needing to have patience and let go of fear. Something is going to be ruled in your favor. Or you will have access to whatever this is you need. The universe just fell on the floor. So, yeah, there's a cycle that's about to end. And I'm here to restore. Your life is about to be restored. There will be envious energies um, around you or mad at you because they're about to watch your life heal. And they're going to be left without. Somebody could have wanted to cause fear in your life. Or somebody is going to be mad because you received a much needed blessing. Okay. It says choose wisely. I feel like you're not going to choose this person at all. Okay. Whoever this envious energy that's going to try to come back into your life. I don't I don't feel like you're going to um, allow this person to come back in. Because you are on the brink of success and victory. Okay. There's something you're about to triumph over. I feel like you're about to try triumph over a person or this is some situation that was trying to hold you back, okay? But you're going to get something here. Oh, somebody, is, um, whoever this is, they're going to be mad because you're not going to allow them to come back in and manipulate you or play games with you. Yeah, they're going to want to come in and apologize to you, but I'm hearing it's going to be too late. This is somebody who caused a lot of misery in your life or stress. Or like when you was already going through some type of storm, this person was just adding to it. And it's like they think that you're going to allow them to come back in. Hell no. I feel like you got ancestors and spirit guides, okay, that's assisting you. They're working for you behind the scenes. Some of you guys, you astro travel in your sleep. Or you are a, I'm hearing high level intuitive. Okay. You could channel spirits or something about you guys channeling um, your ancestors when you sleep. I feel like they come in and talk to you or they come in and give you messages or something. Spirits, show me what I need to see for the Pisces. What do they need to know? Okay. We got longing. This card came out sideways. So... We got rescue. These cars are stuck. So, yeah, family, if there is something here, Pisces, that you feel like you've been going through alone, you're not going through whatever this is alone. You got help, okay? Especially um, from the other side. Yeah, there's somebody who loves you, baby. Okay, on the other side is what I'm hearing. This Whoever this is, they're coming in to rescue you or help you. Um, this could be somebody that you're longing for or missing. This definitely could have been somebody you loved. Um, but this person, whoever, whatever ancestor this is or angel or spirit, they're about to help you rise like the Phoenix. Okay. Or this person will go through hell and high water to make sure you're okay or to make sure you're taken care of. Yeah. Something about your magic. Okay, you're able to connect with whoever this is. You could be a humanitarian. This person could be a humanitarian or this could have been somebody who loved dogs. Okay, you got a lot of prosperity that's coming in. I feel like things at work is going to be changing as well. Or for some of you guys, you're about to go through some type. You're about to go through some type of level up at work. Okay, or what you do for a living. 
um i feel like there could be some information that's going to be revealed around the next full moon okay or something about your intuition being very strong here you're going to be receiving higher knowledge or inner dimension something about you guys connecting to other dimensions here or other timelines okay something about merging of the timelines as well we got snooping around nosy rosy so there is definitely somebody who's keeping eyes on you or keeping tabs on you this could be a work somebody could be wanting to know what you're working on or where you at in your life what you have um this could be a cancer with the moon sign being here somebody could be watching you on your social media yeah this could be somebody who got an unhealthy addiction to you okay or some of you guys are trying to fight through some type of addiction here but i feel like you're you're receiving a new view on life or spirit is about to take you up off the ground baby okay you about to go to you about to go move up move to a new level okay i'm here a new life some of you guys could be taking a trip soon but i'm hearing that there's somebody who definitely got an unhealthy addiction to you some of you guys could take prescription pills or maybe this person is taking prescription pills somebody take pills for anxiety or stress or um depression as well i'm hearing don't overdo it yeah i feel like it's this person that's wearing a mask somebody don't want you to know that they're watching you but they are watching you this person also want to have some type of control over you this could be somebody who's very possessive or wants something that you have um but i feel like i'm hearing this person is going to be left without this could be somebody who's going to end up getting news about this we also got scared man here. For some of you guys, like I said, there's something that you're about to come in. And I feel like a lot of people are, are going to want to um, have some type of control in your life. Okay. But you're needing to protect your energy or protect whatever success this is that's coming in. I'm also seeing that somebody is very obsessive or possessive of another person. There could be something you guys find out, okay? This could be about an ex or a lover. You can end up finding out some information about this person that... um. Mm. it's like you don't whoever this is i feel like you don't trust them this could be somebody that you are in a connection with or somebody you separated from this person could be trying to get back with you but this could be somebody who still got hidden secrets or right, for some of you guys you just paranoid okay you <laughs> you paranoid okay you're going to end up running somebody off here because i am seeing like being possessive somebody is possessive they either possessive over you or you possessive over them but you're going to end up running somebody off because you're always jumping to conclusions or they always jump into conclusions somebody need to really focus on just healing their heart at this time okay we got practice forgiveness maybe there's somebody who hurted you before in the past but it's like you still don't trust this person because whoever this is, like their first cut was the deepest. It was hard for you to get, get over some type of betrayal here that this person calls you. But if you're going to move on with this person, you got to forgive this person. Because I do feel like this is somebody who loved you dearly. This could have been somebody who was a little immature when it came to love in the past. But I see like if you allow this person to come in and love you properly, 
and you forgive this person properly, y'all will have a really good life together. I'm seeing success on your part and on this person part. Like for some of you guys, this could be somebody you've been dealing with since you was younger, like since you was a teenager or something. Okay. But I'm seeing you guys growing up together. Um, this person could have hurt you at a young age, but you still don't trust them. But there, I'm seeing success with you and this person. This is somebody who would never abandon you. I feel like this person was a child when you met them, okay? Or they was childish when it came to love until this person actually really fell in love with you. But this is somebody who would never turn their back on you, okay? I'm hearing, I truly adore you. Something like that, Pisces. You got somebody who love you out here. Pisces. Okay, we got four tough decisions. It's going to be, <laughs> I'm hearing it's a hard pill to swallow, Fly Empress. It's hard to forgive this motherfucker. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, but you could be at a crossroad right now. You're going to have to forgive this person, okay? If you and this person is to make it. But I'm seeing like this is somebody who will walk this path with you. This is the right path. Okay, I'm seeing success, love, good fortune, celebration, a long life, a long history together. This is somebody you can build and grow with and be successful with. Okay, I don't know why I'm seeing matching outfits. Like y'all can wear like the same color. If you wear blue and white, this person wear blue and white. You can wear red and black, this person wear red and black. Okay, something about you guys compliment each other. Okay, um, yeah, I'm seeing success here, family. You and this person might even start a business with each other, but I'm seeing like a divine empress and divine emperor. I feel like part of you leaving out of your south node is forgiveness, okay, and learning to trust again, opening up your heart again. All right, but it's, it's telling me you in your North Node now. So it's like, you know what you got to do. Now, the only thing you got to do is do it. Okay, yeah. So anyway, Pisces, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that notification bell. And until we talk again later, I love y'all so much. Peace.